Hi guys, I am back with another foundation routine and I know I've been going through a lot of different new foundations lately but I just wanted to try out a bunch of different foundations especially with fall and winter coming up I like to switch back to my more matte and full coverage foundations and as much as I love my NARS Sheer Glow foundation I just kind of wanted to branch out and try different foundations to just try new things. Now I'm definitely not one to try out a bunch of different foundations because my skin is really sensitive so I break out really really easily to certain ingredients in a lot of foundations. So if I find a foundation that works well with my skin, um, my oily skin, and it doesn't break me out, I tend to stick to it. So I picked this up at Sephora about two weeks ago, I believe, and I don't really hear a lot about it here on YouTube or just people talking about this just yet. I don't know how new it is, but I wanted to pick it up and try it out for myself and wear it and review it for you guys. So I have worn this now for a little bit over a week, so I've really gotten the sense of what it does on my skin and um, how my skin reacts to it so I feel like I can definitely give you a good and thorough review. So again I picked this up at Sephora and at Sephora there are only 12 shades available but I saw that on the Too Faced um, website there are 18 shades available. So the shade selection for this foundation is really really great. It goes from warm to neutral to cooler skin tones and I believe this was $39. I'm just going to quickly go over what's on the box just to give you guys a little bit of information about this foundation. It claims to be oil free and a medium to full coverage foundation that is undetectable on your skin. So that's a pretty high claim and I'll talk about that at the end when I'm reviewing this whole foundation. And it's also infused with a lot of great ingredients for your skin so that was another um, reason for me to pick this up. I'm currently obsessed with foundations and just bases that are really good for my skin so it's kind of like a skin treatment and foundation all in one. If you think about it, you're wearing your makeup for about 10 hours a day so for 10 hours if there's something that's sitting on your face that's doing your skin some good i think that's a great bonus i was really impressed and excited to try this foundation out because of the skin ingredients um, that they have in here so it says that it's infused with coconut water to delicately replenish skin's moisture levels alpine rose to brighten skin's appearance and promote elasticity and hyaluronic acid for a smoother more youthful appearance and if you couldn't tell from my last foundation um review which was on the A Cosmetic CC Cream. If you couldn't tell, I am currently obsessed with hyaluronic acid. Every step to my skincare routine right now has hyaluronic acid in it because I can definitely see and feel a difference when I use this ingredient immediately. Within two weeks, I could definitely see a kind of improvement to my skin texture, to my skin tone, my dark spots, and just the elasticity of my skin. So I'm currently obsessed with it. And I know you guys have been asking for a updated skincare routine and I will definitely film one um, within the next week or two so keep an eye out for that video. So that was just a little bit of information about this foundation. We will move on to the application and just how I apply it and how well it sits on my skin. So again, this is the packaging. This is the box that it comes in and it's just so freaking adorable. The packaging on the inside is just as adorable as it is on the outside and I believe this is the regular one fluid ounce. Yep, it's just 30 ml, one fluid ounce, so this is just your typical amount of foundation that you would get. It's in a really pretty glass frosted bottle, and it has a nice pump to it. So I'm just going to apply this to my face and continue on with this review. So normally, I just do one pump of this foundation. Some days, I only do half a pump if I don't want that full coverage look because this really is medium to full coverage, so that claim is definitely true. I'm just going to move my stubborn hair aside. So I do one pump on my fingers and then just dot it um, throughout my face. I'm just going to use my Expert Face Brush from um, Real Techniques and buff this out. I usually just kind of tap it into my skin and then buff it out really lightly. And I don't know if it's because I've been using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream um, recently but this smooths out and blends out so easily. I guess it's because it's more of a liquid foundation as opposed to the cream consistency that the IT Cosmetics is, but it blends out so evenly and so easily, it's so quick. It's really thin, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So that's basically it 
for application. It blends out so smoothly and so quickly. It's just a really great foundation for when you're in a rush and need to even out your skin tone. You just kind of smooth this over with a synthetic brush and it goes on really really nicely and really really quickly. So this is what my skin looks like after I've applied the foundation and if I can find a before shot um, that looks good uh, i will put a before and after shot right here for you guys just so that you can compare the foundation before and after but as you can tell it leaves behind the most beautiful finish it's not glowy it's not dewy it's not matte and mask like it really does mimic your skin's texture perfectly i think it looks so flawless and even and even in person without the artificial lighting my skin looks really really flawless and it doesn't look like i have any foundation on so this is amazing coverage so if you have problematic skin, hyperpigmentation, just dark sunspots, acne scars, this is going to cover it up while looking really, really natural. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel tacky, it's set really nice and quick, and you just look flawless without being too unnatural, too mask-like, and you just look like you have perfect skin, which is a huge bonus. So I'm just gonna go and finish the rest of my face makeup, and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts about this foundation. So my final thoughts on this foundation is that it's a really, really nice and beautiful foundation, but for somebody who has combo to oily skin, this isn't going to be my first pick in foundations for the fall and winter. Because even though my skin gets dry throughout the winter and colder months, I still get oily throughout my T-zone. That's just what happens when you have oily skin. This isn't the most long-lasting foundation that I own. Um, even with a really great primer, setting spray, and setting powder, this will only last the most maybe six hours on me, five to six hours before it starts to um, disintegrate and my oils kick in and breaks up the foundation. So it starts to become very, I wouldn't say blotchy, you can just definitely see your whole face start fading, your blush gets very faint and light, it looks like you have no blush on at all. And that for me is the test of a really long lasting foundation. If by the end of the day, my blush and bronzer and highlighter are still on my face, then I know that it's very long lasting. This, by the fifth hour, my blush is gone, my bronzer is gone, and just the redness around my nose becomes a little bit more apparent and it starts to peek through. So that's my only problem with this foundation. Otherwise, I think it looks beautiful on the skin. Um, the first few hours, you just look absolutely flawless and it looks like you're not wearing foundation at all. You just look really um, natural and it just looks like you were born with really great skin, which is always a plus in a foundation. But unfortunately, my oils just this couldn't stand up to it and I don't blame it, it's my skin. So if you have drier skin, I think that you will absolutely love this foundation. It sits really nicely on the skin, it's very light and moisturizing and hydrating. But those are not words that um, us oily skin people like to use or hear when it comes to foundation. We want something a little bit more mattifying and unfortunately this was not it. So that was my full review and final thoughts on the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, I wish that I could really love this foundation. If I'm going somewhere and I know that I'm only going to be out for 4 hours or so, I will definitely wear this because it looks beautiful and it looks really flawless. But if I know I'm going out somewhere that I'm going to be staying out the night or even just past 6 hours, this isn't going to be my first choice. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. I know that this foundation isn't being talked about that much right now, so I hope this was helpful in deciding if you're going to pick this up or not. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.